Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you a really interesting makeup trick. It's the unknown makeup trick. It has to do with your eyeliner. It is perfect for mature women. You're going to love this technique. So ladies, are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, I'm going to set the mood in here because it actually is getting quite cool here in South Florida, but then it gets hot the next day. It's very odd, but I have winter stroll from replica and I got this on Amazon. This is the best little lighter because you can, it's a USB, so it never goes out. I hate those other ones where they just, you know, you think you still have some juice in it and then it's dead. So we have the candle on. We're going to be doing the unknown makeup trick. This is so perfect for mature women. I did it the other day in my makeup tutorial, like as just a random fluke. And I was like, this is the best trick that I need to call out in a dedicated video. So I'm getting ready for a holiday lunch. I'm doing it at Capitol Grill. It's an annual fun get together. So I want to just do a really beautiful look. I'm going to be wearing, I have this Oscar de la Renta jacket that I got that is very just Christmassy, holiday-ish. I wore it the other day on Instagram. I took a picture. You might have seen it. It's really comfortable and lightweight, and I love it. So let's, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to grab my La Mer. I'm just slathering my skin with my creme de la Mer. I'm going to keep it simple today. My beautiful creme de la Mer is soaking into my skin. I honestly feel like a Chia pet, ladies. Like this, I don't know. My curlers look good until they start sliding. And they're actually at the very end. I've had them in for probably 45 minutes or so, but I literally start looking like a Chia pet. If you don't know what that is, you must be very young. Okay, so first and foremost, let's prep the eyes. We're gonna go in with my eye primer. It's my first step because I have all of this pigmentation. I want to lighten it up because I'm gonna go in with Lay Bottled Blonde today. So you can see these natural colors, beautiful, but it's not gonna look good if I'm layering it over my dark eyelids. So I'm going to just tap from the base of my lashes all the way up to my brow bone and go right into the inner corner. Eye primer is on neutralizing out my eyes, beautiful. Now let's put on some Fiercely Smooth before so it can set up and really just nicely prep the skin over my moisturizer. Fiercely Smooth is in now. I don't know what's going on with these. These have been, the pigmentation has been, someone said to me, I don't know if it was in an email or what, but they said something about my gua sha and it's like, no, that has nothing to do with it. I've explained to you where this inflammation, this pigmentation came from um, a couple of years ago, but all we do is we use a little Just Peachy, we lighten it up, it's not a big deal and I'm treating it with some of my fabulous skincare. So let's go into our Lay Bottled Blonde. I'm gonna go into the middle color here. I'm just using my eyeshadow brush and I'm going to just go to the center of my eye and go to the inner corner and back. You notice I stay at the bottom part of my eyelid. I don't go all the way up over. I will bring it up just a tad right before that kind of crease in my eye. You can build this eyeshadow up if you wanted more pigment or if you want to wash a color. That's what's so beautiful. They are very silky. They're talc-free. They're gluten-free. These are made in Italy. I really enjoyed creating these eyeshadows for you. They're just so beautiful and so silky and they're soft. That's the whole point. This is not a high, high, high pigment where it's overwhelming and it's too much. You will see that I have beautiful deep pigment with my matte shadows that are coming out. I'm going to go into the darkest color. I'm gonna be taking my tapered blending brush. All of my names are on my brushes for your easy application and stress-free beauty. I don't want you to have to not know the names of the brushes or what they're used for. I always call them out when I'm doing makeup tutorials so you can follow along. I'm going to take it at the base and just do a little triangle here. I want something just kind of pretty, but still giving a little bit more makeup than I normally would wear because this is a holiday lunch. Now I can just take my blending brush and just blend out any harsh lines. And then I'm just gonna go in with the lightest color and just do a little bit at my brow bone. I'm going to take my Almay pad and just work any of this makeup that fell up and off of my skin. Taking my Shumura eyelash curler, I'm gonna curl my lashes. 
lashes are curled. Now, here is the exciting unknown makeup trick. You ready? So I'm gonna take my dark chocolate waterproof eyeliner. This is a very special eyeliner for mature women that I created because it's a soft formula. It's not hard. It doesn't stab your eye like most of the eyeliners out there on the market. I'm gonna use my pencil sharpener that I designed for my pencils and lip liners and eyeliners. Now, instead of just taking the eyeliner and going right to the eye and creating your gorgeous eyeliner, we're going to take our short smudge brush. You're going to take it and run it across your eyeliner. You'll see that this is a very soft eyeliner that will pick up the product here on the brush. And then you're gonna go right to the base of your lashes. And this is going to just really smoke it out. It's going to be so beautiful. This could also be if you didn't want to do any eyeshadow and you just wanted to apply eyeliner. So maybe you had like a nude eye and you wanted to do plum or navy. You could get a really beautiful different application than if you went from the actual eyeliner to your eye. This is really something that's just different, beautiful, and interesting technique you can see that I'm going to be able to get more of an eyeliner and it's just perfect. It's like, it goes on literally like I just did the most incredible line, no mistakes, nice and blended. And if you wanna bring it up and wing it out, you can do that. The best is that you can take it underneath and really get that soft, smoky eyeliner. So if you have a hard time with doing underneath your eyes, getting it to look really just nice and natural, not too much, not too heavy, not skipping all over. This is a really great technique, a little unknown technique. I haven't seen anybody doing it. I've been researching. It's been around, but no one's really called it out. So I think mature women need to know this tip. I'm gonna just do a little bit more on this eye because I feel like I had more fresh pigments when I was doing the right eye. So I think it's just really beautiful. It's really a fun, fun trick. Now I'm gonna take my volume up. This is my mascara that has this beautiful wand that has all these little teeth on it that are going to grab your lashes and pull every single baby lash out. So that's like a really big deal for mature women that you have all of these little lashes. It could be very, very short and you're never able to get them and separate them because the brush is just rolling over them. So I created this wand with my engineers with the formula. So that's one of the things that a lot of women don't understand is that you can't just take any mascara wand and throw it into a formulation because it has to be compatible. So I really worked hard to make sure my volumizing formula worked extremely well with my wand. Mascara is on. Now, all we have to do is complete the look with our concealer, our BB cream, a little blush, neutral lips, maybe doing a little bit of a pinky nude. I'm very excited about it. So let's do, I, you know what? I have not been able to get away with not using my Just Peachy. So I've been trying to get away with not having to use a color corrector and just use my concealer, but I can't do that right now. So you can see I am just erasing all of my darkness. So up in this inner corner here where I get grays and blues, bringing it down, I just don't like seeing that, that gray, that darkness. So this is going to help first with lifting the color that's on my skin and then I can go over with my concealer. I'm actually gonna take a little no redness. This is like my mosaic. I have this no redness around my nose. I can work that in with my finger so I neutralize it out so everything doesn't have to work so hard. My concealer doesn't have to work hard. My BB cream doesn't have to work hard. It's just giving me this really beautiful, nice complexion. I'm going to use my foundation buffing brush and I'm just going to buff the Just Peachy into my skin so it's giving me more confidence. You can see that it's covering up that pigmentation. I'll work this in with my finger. Just Peachy is worked into the skin. Now I'm going to take a little creamy concealer in light. This is CCO2 and I'm going to just go right over what I did 
with my Just Peachy. I'll come down and then I'll come right up like that. It'll all work together. I'm just gonna take my foundation buffing brush again and I'm gonna work it over, buffing it into the skin. Now we are set up for our BB cream. I'm going in with BB cream light and I'm going to actually add a little bit. I found it in my move, my V lighter from Valentino. This is going to just add just a touch of radiance, more of a bronzy in my BB cream. I'm just going to mix it like this with my hand and then I will swipe on what I touched and then take my foundation buffing brush and buff it into my skin. You can see just how beautiful the skin looks with the BB cream on now. Now we're going to take silk lip liner. It's my nude lip liner. It's very, very soft. I'm going to line my lips with the silk. I find I did put on some of my rose lip balm, but I find that you can really get a beautiful lip line when you put on your rose lip balm and moisturize your lips first. This lip liner will glide on your lips when you have that moisture. I've been watching a lot of tutorials with the celebrities on uh, Vogue and on YouTube and doing their makeup. And I'm really surprised to see how dry their lips are and how they're not moisturizing them and they're not even using a liner. And you really do need to define your lips as you're maturing. That was one of the things that I was, I mean, each lady in her 60s and 70s was not using a lip liner to really define that lip. It looks beautiful, even if you have very thin lips, even more so. You want to define the lip, you want it to really be beautifully outlined, and then you fill it in with your favorite lipstick or lip gloss. Today, I'm thinking that I'm going to, you know what, I'm gonna do Figure It Out. I am going to be using Figure It Out. It is a nude lip. Now, usually I would add more color to my lips, but I am feeling like in this bronzy family, I do wanna do just like a nice nude. You could always add pretty smart lipstick over. You could do a really beautiful lip gloss if you wanted to, to add color like Coco 13, or you could do Champs. I'm gonna use Manifest and Glow, which is my gold, so it'll go together. But the funny thing about this lipstick is the name, figure it out. It has been a very, very much of a mantra for this year. And it's really because my husband would always tell me to figure it out. I would say I, wouldn't, I wasn't able to do something or I wouldn't know how to do it or whatever it was, computers, this, that, whatever. And he would always say, figure it out. And it really bothered me for a while because I thought, why can't you just tell me the answer? Why do I have to always figure it out? And then I realized why, because I needed to be independent. I needed to know how to navigate certain things. So in life, as we're maturing and as easy as it is just to pick up a phone and or ask somebody a question and not want to research it yourself because you just want that instantaneous like answer, you have to figure it out. And that's what life's all about, right? You've got to figure it out, make your own path. Look how beautiful this gold, just like a little bit of that sparkle, right? It's not like a too much, it just really complements any lipstick that you put on to give you just kind of like that golden hue. I think it's really beautiful. Now, the last thing we need to do is just pop the cheeks. And you know what I wanna do? Let's do a combo between our Ballerina Rose, which is our powder compact, and our St. Bart's. We're gonna do a cream blush over. I'm gonna take my blush brush and I'm going to just kind of mix these two together. And I'm going to just give a beautiful just color to my cheeks working up. Again, blush application is going to be specific to your face shape and what you're wanting to create. I'm just giving a little color and then I'm lifting. Now what I'm gonna do is go in with my cream St. Bart's and just pop a little bit more here so it can give it more staying power, a little bit more color. And unfortunately for me, I have this pigmentation that comes down almost like meets my cheek. So sometimes you're gonna see when I start working things over my pigmentation, but you know what? I enjoy it. You know what? I love my skin. My skin has really been very resilient through everything that it's gone through. And we are here today just enjoying the beautiful look. So now we can take out the hair. So this, these Velcro curlers have been in my hair for quite a while, maybe even an hour now. So this is really how I get my volume. A lot of women ask me how I do that. And it really is 
my hair doesn't look like this if I don't put Velcro curlers in it. So this is kind of like my thing. I'll spray it up. I'll put on some earrings and what have you. You know, the only other thing I didn't do is I can do a little milk chocolate on my eyebrows and just keep them nice and groomed and covering any grays. Don't pluck out your grays, ladies. That is the last thing that you should be doing. You should be just covering them because you want every single hair that you have. And our final, final step is we want to set underneath our eyes. So I'm gonna take a little Nikita banana. It's a brightening powder and I'm going to just set right here. And sometimes I'll do like T-zone and there we go. We have a beautiful holiday lunch look ready to go. And I hope you enjoyed this nice little tip this unknown makeup trick with your eyeliner. You're going to love it. If you use my brush, that little short smudge brush, and you use my creamy eyeliner, you are going to see how perfectly you can put on eyeliner. So ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.